as we enter the last slice, confidence intervals and hypothesis testing, what we'll want to do is to talk a little bit about confidence intervals before we actually delve into the math of that. A confidence interval basically is a way that we have to take a sample, and a sample of course is a small number which are chosen out of a much, much bigger number over here in the population. And from that sample that we hope is chosen in a representative way so that it accurately represents what's going on in the population, we will use these sample statistics in order to make predictions about what the population is really doing. Now, of course, let's take some specifics here. Now, let's take the example of um, the average weight of all dogs in the United States. And I borrow this uh, example from Professor Rosever, whose videos I've watched quite a bit. So, first of all, we'll go out and we'll manage to collect a sample of dogs. Now, in order to be representative, we're going to have to have some big dogs, some little dogs, some lots of average sized dogs, and we'll do our best to get a sample here that is uh, pretty representative of the population. Keeping in mind that we could never, ever find every dog in the United States and get it to go across the scales and weigh it, uh, because some of those dogs, of course, are uh, locked in the house when we go to visit. Others are uh, uh, mean and they'd bite you if you tried to do that. Uh, some would run away and hide under the porch. You could just never, ever get all of the dogs in the country to cooperate. So what we do is go over here and choose a sample and then use that sample to make a prediction. Now, this prediction is not perfect. It will not tell us exactly what the average weight of all dogs in the United States actually is, but it will allow us to calculate what is called a confidence interval. And what that means is that we can be pretty sure, and we'll actually specify how sure we are of our answer, that the real answer for this population mean falls between two values and hence the idea of an interval. It'll actually be somewhere between two values. We can't actually say what the population mean is, but we can specify with a certain amount of confidence what two numbers the population is between. Now we will do this for sample and population means. Notice the difference here in symbolism. Uh, we can do that for sample and uh, population proportions, and we will all do also do this with uh, sample and population standard deviations. So we will take a look at all of these things, and we will tackle these one by one as we head into the next few sections.